Good morning everybody. I am Dr. Uday Kumar Khan and today I am going to give you a demonstration on the experiment to determine the coupling coefficient kappa c of a piezoelectric crystal. And before I do the experiment, let me give you the theoretical background of this experiment. And for that, let me first give you the explanation what is the functioning of a piezoelectric crystal and what is piezoelectric effect. If we have some non centrosymmetric crystals such as quartz, tourmaline, barium titanate, rochel salt, etc and if a mechanical strain is applied in a direction on the crystal in this direction then a difference of potential PD will be generated along this direction which is perpendicular to the earlier direction and this is called the piezoelectric effect and the PD generated difference of potential generated is proportional to the amount of strain applied to the crystal and the polarity of the difference of potential changes if the strain becomes compression. This type of crystal is called the piezoelectric crystal. Similarly, if we apply a potential difference in a particular direction like this. So, if a potential is applied along this then a mechanical strain will be generated in the crystal so this is called the inverse piezoelectric effect and if the sign of this voltage changes then the mechanical strain will be converted to a mechanical compression and if instead of a DC if we apply a AC voltage here then the crystal will start vibrating and there will be an interaction between the crystal oscillation and the energy source connected with the crystal. So, this kind of oscillation can have a resonance as the crystal has its natural oscillation frequency. So, if the AC source has frequency which matches with the natural frequency of the crystal, then resonance will take place and near resonance to understand or to calculate the resonance frequency we have a very simple model and that model is the following so this crystal can be considered as a parallel combination of a series LCR network and a capacitor CD parallel with this series network. So the V should be applied between these two points where this CD is the capacitance due to mechanical mounting of the piezoelectric crystal 
between the two electrodes and this L inductor is the electrical equivalent of the crystal mass. The C is the electrical equivalent capacitance that is the equivalent mechanical compliance or the elastic deformation generated within the crystal and this R is the electrical equivalent resistance applied to the crystal when it oscillates due to the crystal structure. So this capital R is due to the internal friction. So we have this entire part equivalent of a crystal. Equivalent of a piezoelectric crystal. So this entire network will have resonance frequencies. So in this case we get two different resonance frequencies. First one is the series resonance frequency and this is obtained when this series branch has impedance due to L equal and opposite to the impedance of C. Thus the total reactance in this terminal becomes zero and at that frequency the series resonance occurs and that series resonance frequency value can be calculated this is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over Lc and at this resonance impedance becomes negligibly small or zero that's why the current in the circuit becomes very high. So the current gives a peak value at this series resonance frequency. There is another resonance at a frequency which is higher than series resonance frequency and that frequency is Fe is called the anti resonance frequency or parallel resonance frequency and at this frequency the reactance in this path due to L and C becomes equal with the reactance due to CD thus this Fe can be calculated from this formula omega PL or we can say omega E L omega E C omega E C D. So this is the reactance or impedance due to L and C and this is the impedance due to C D and these two are equal and this gives rise to the anti resonance frequency or parallel resonance frequency 1 by 2 pi root over L C T where this C T is C into C D by C plus C D can be obtained from this relation. Usually this C D is much much greater than C. Therefore this F A and F S do not differ much. This F A and F S nearly equal to 0.01 Fe. Now I come to the coupling coefficient of a piezoelectric crystal. This coupling coefficient K kappa C is equal to the ability of a crystal to transform electrical energy 
into mechanical energy or vice versa. That means the ability of a crystal to transform the electrical energy into mechanical energy or mechanical energy into electrical energy. And our experiment is to find out the value of kappa c for a given piezoelectric crystal. And for that, in this case, we take Rochel salt for our experiment. That is the sodium potassium tartrate tetrahydrate. And the circuit we are going to use for the experiment is the following. So we will have a crystal, piezoelectric crystal, one AC voltage source and to measure the voltage, so one AC voltmeter is needed and to measure the current in the circuit, one AC milliammeter is also connected. And this part is the external circuit. External terminals one between 1 and 2, we have resistance, inductance and capacitance. As I said earlier, each crystal has electrical equivalent resistance, inductance and capacitance and therefore it has resonance frequencies Fs and Fe. We don't have to measure R, L, C for the crystal. The value of CD is supplied by the instrument supplier. So what crystal they have used and how they have mounted and corresponding to that mounting, what is the value of CD that is available in the manual. Now for our experiment, we have to externally connect R dash, L dash, C dash. And we have to find out the value of current with the increase of the frequency of the AC voltage source and the voltage value also can be obtained from this meter and ultimately we can calculate the impedance Z for this network also that Z is equal to V by I and now if we plot this curve mod Z along y axis and frequency along x axis then we will have curve like this so this curve corresponds to z minimum or current maximum on the other hand this point correspond to z maximum or current minimum so here we get the series resonance and this frequency is the series resonance frequency and this frequency is the parallel resonance frequency. We can plot along y axis i also. So we can have instead of z we can have i also and in that case the curve will be different because at series resonance frequency this current will be high and here the current will be low. So for the given value of R dash, L dash, C dash if we plot this curve then we can find the series resonance frequency and the anti resonance or parallel resonance frequency and therefore for coupling coefficient kappa c we have the formula fa minus fs by fs 
So, in this experiment, to find the coupling coefficient of a piezoelectric crystal, we have to find the resonance frequencies Fs and Fa by plotting the curve mod Z or I along Y axis and frequency along X axis and using the coupling coefficient formula Ac is equal to Fa minus Fs by Fs and this is the working formula for our experiment and this resonance frequencies can also be verified from these formulas also like this Fs should be this one and this Fa should be this one. Now let's do the experiment. So this was my circuit for the experiment. We have the piezoelectric crystal here. External terminals of R dash L dash C dash 1 milliameter, 1 volt meter and a AC voltage source. So these are the two instruments we are using. This is for the generation of AC voltage. This is a function generator and the frequency can be seen through this display and the output of this function generator can be taken from this terminal with the help of a BNC cable to the rest of the network and the AC signal can be obtained by pressing this selection button and the frequency can be set with the help of frequency uh, port and the amplitude also can be set with the help of this spot and the frequency range can be varied with the help of this selection button and this unit is the coupling coefficient of piezoelectric crystal setup it has five numbers of crystals connected piezoelectric crystals connected here and these are the two terminals so the crystal terminals are these two and the crystal we can select with the help of this port and the capacitance CD as I showed you in the whiteboard that is available with the manual of this instrument provider and the external terminal R dash, L dash, C dash can be selected from these three resistance, inductance and capacitance box and selection can be made with the help of these ports and there are various steps for resistance the step is 10 ohm and for L the step is 100 millihenry and for capacitor the step is 22 picofarad so if I switch from 5 to 6 here like this so this will be getting the value of C from 110 to 132 picofarad and here also if I change the pot like this then this will become from 200 millihenry to 300 millihenry and here if I change like this then from 50 ohm it will become 60 ohm and to measure the current and voltage we have two meters digital meters this is AC meter ammeter and this is AC voltmeter and the current can be obtained in two different scale we have a microammeter and milliammeter this can be selected like this so 
now I have to connect the circuits so first I am going to connect the R dash L dash C dash like this so I have R dash one terminal other terminal I am sending it to L dash then from L dash it is going to C dash then from C dash it goes to crystal so I am sending it to the crystal and the other end of the crystal will come to the R dash so this part is completed now I have to connect the meters and the voltage source so first the meter milliampere I have to connect at the junction of this crystal and the R dash so that junction is here so ammeter has the two terminals like this and I am connecting like this so the crystal and the resistance terminal is connected this junction is connected with the milliampere now and this junction where the C dash and the crystal is connected should go to the V so C dash and the crystal junction is here and it should be connected with the next I have to connect the voltage source with these two junctions here and here so the other end of the milliampere should be connected with the voltmeter first this is the other end of the milliampere so I am connecting the milliampere with the voltmeter and now I have to take the signal with the help of a BNC cable so the voltage source should be connected with this junction and this junction so this junction means here I am connecting here here and then it has to come to this way. so I have completed the circuit now I have to switch on the two units so first of all I am switching on this unit function generator and then I am going to switch on the, this one before that I want to tell you I have selected R, L and C value R I have taken 50 ohm then L I have taken 200 milli henry and C I have taken 110 picofarad and this crystal I have taken 5 megahertz crystal the value of CD corresponding to that I'll tell you later so I'm switching on this unit okay. now frequency I am going to increase from 1 kilohertz onwards and amplitude I have set such that it gives 
8.78 volt this is ac voltmeter okay so here i have chosen 2 kilohertz scale now i am going to set the frequency to 1 kilohertz and this current is giving value something like 5 microampere then i am increasing the frequency and i have to note down this current value so I am, as i am increasing the frequency of the ac source it is growing so the current is becoming higher and higher so now i am close to 2 kilohertz okay so i am at 2 kilohertz and at 2 kilohertz i am getting the value of the current in the circuit 13 microampere then if i want to increase the frequency i have to select the set next range so from 2 kilohertz i am going to 20 kilohertz now i am going to take the data for 3 kilohertz okay so it's again growing is becoming more so current is high that means now i am at 4.3 so it's increasing so i have to check at what frequency it gives the maximum current so it's increasing i am at 8 kilohertz or so it is still increasing 59 63 64 70 i am at 9.4 kilohertz and we have to take few data very carefully because we are expecting a resonance here so it is now 86 87 i am at 9.5 so 125 i am at 9.8 kilohertz it is 146 microampere i am at 10 kilohertz now it has come down that means i have crossed the resonance frequency so the first resonance frequency that is the series resonance frequency somewhere nearly at 10 kilohertz now we have to increase the frequency and continue the same procedure to get the other resonance frequency but at that resonance frequency instead of peak in the current we will get a dip in the current like what we get in case of a parallel resonance circuit and the current will become zero and the corresponding impedance mod z will be highest over there so i am increasing the frequency going down so the current is going down going down going down and it is becoming zero at 54 kilohertz so we have reached the parallel resonance where the current is zero and the impedance is highest now if we increase the frequency then the current is again increasing so we have done the experiment and we have got the two resonance frequencies for the crystal for external circuit parameters R, L, C values and we can also change the crystal so we have freedom to select the crystal and we can select the resonance frequencies also so now let's get back to the whiteboard one second so I have given you the demonstration of the experiment how to obtain the coupling coefficient 
of a piezoelectric crystal. And my circuit was like this. And data I have taken current and the frequency. And voltage was kept constant throughout the experiment. So we can easily get the Z value dividing voltage by the current for various frequencies. And that way we can plot mod Z along Y axis and frequency along X axis. Or other way we can plot current I along Y axis and frequency along X axis. And in that case the curve will be like this. As I showed you the current was becoming maximum around 10 kilohertz or so for our setup and that was the series resonance frequency and we were getting the current value 0 at 64 kilohertz or so. So this two can be obtained from the curve and then we have to calculate the kappa c coupling coefficient from this formula. And we can check whether we are getting the right values of resonance frequencies or not just by putting the values L dash, C dash and C D in this formula. So we can get C T and F A similarly F S and C D for Russell salt we have taken something like 4 picofarad. So one more point I would like to mention here. This point I explained you the difference of the two resonance frequencies of the order of 0.01 Fa. This varies crystal to crystal. So everything depends which crystal we are using because this R, L, C, these values for a given crystal depends. These are the equivalent electrical equivalent resistance, inductance, capacitance. These values depend upon the dimension of the crystal, nature of the cut of the crystal and the mode of vibration. Therefore, the result will vary depending upon the dimension, cut and mode of vibration of the crystal. So, I hope you all will be able to perform the experiment in the laboratory and the students will be very happy. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.